right, Mike, thank you. Well, if you had eggs for breakfast this morning, mm -hmm. we have some good news to share. Hey, how about that? Sounds pretty good to me. After decades of concern about dietary cholesterol, experts now say eggs can be part of a heart-healthy diet. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has more about why the advice on eggs is changing. The advice on eggs is changing as the science is changing, and the American Heart Association is now saying if you're healthy and you don't have high cholesterol, eating a few eggs a week is fine. For decades, we've been told eggs and egg yolks in particular are high in dietary cholesterol. So for a healthier heart, we should limit how many eggs we're eating. But that advice is changing, says Jerland Jones, a registered dietitian and spokesperson for the American Heart Association. And what we know now is that eggs are a nutrient powerhouse, right? They're packed with protein, vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and antioxidants. So they're good for your eyes, they're good for your heart. So do not skip out on eggs. The Heart Association says there is confusion between dietary cholesterol found in foods like eggs, meat, dairy, and shellfish, and blood cholesterol, the waxy substance that can build up in our arteries, restricting blood flow and raising our risk of stroke and heart attack. But studies are increasingly showing that eggs and shellfish may not raise our bad or LDL cholesterol levels. So instead of limiting eggs, Joan says, Focus on getting a good balance of fruit and vegetables, whole grains, protein, and dairy. You definitely want to make small changes meal by meal, and it's not an all or nothing. If you need some ideas, Joan says, the American Heart Association has heart healthy recipes like this potato hash. We have bell peppers and onions, sweet potatoes, of course, is the main ingredient. We have our eggs here, but I tell people you can make it however you like. If you don't like bell peppers, don't add the bell peppers. Maybe you can add another vegetable, maybe mushrooms. But for now, Joan says, keep on eating eggs. So please don't think it's all or nothing. Start off very small. All it matters is that you are eating a variety of different food items. This isn't a free pass to eat all the high cholesterol foods that you want, but the American Heart Association says there is more flexibility when it comes to building your diet. And that said, if you have high LDL or bad cholesterol, you still need to talk to your health care provider about how to better manage it. And you may have to limit high cholesterol foods. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.